yes, downtown Stockton. Such a wonderful and historic place to be. Welcome back to another awesome adventures video. I am Jeffy the Adventurer and in today's video I'm going down Main Street to show you guys the past and the present, the before and after of what was Main Street, catching all the way up to what's there in the current spots, current day. Well here it is, 25 East Main Street. Current day, Fusion Boba Cafe, but it always wasn't Fusion Boba Cafe. Used to be two addresses right here, 25 and 27 East Main Street. Here's an old photo of what it used to look like. The John Philipson Gunsmith Shop. Since it's been demolished, it's been replaced by this building right here which this is the only business right here in this building. The rest of it is a parking structure. Our next spot is another great building that sadly has been demolished and another building has been put in its spot. I'm talking about this building right here, 317 East Main Street. This building hasn't always been here. I'm not sure exactly when the old building got demolished and this one got put here. But it's been here for quite some time as far as I can remember. Here's an old photo from the 1890s in this very spot. In this photo it shows a Stockton streetcar and in this very spot was the Henderson's Carriage Factory. It's since been has been demolished. I just love these old buildings in downtown Stockton. It's hard to believe that half of them are gone already. And it's even more hard to believe that in the near future, all of this might be gone. Going right down the street right here to the Courthouse Plaza, that is our next destination. That building hasn't always been here. It hasn't always been the courthouse plaza. Most of these buildings from right here where I'm standing hasn't always been here. This is what I consider New Stockton. Smith and Lang was Stockton's oldest department store established in 1899 by Alfred B. Lang and John H. Smith. Alfred B. Lang, a founding partner, first worked at the Alexander Chalmers Dry Goods Store where he met another clerk, John H. Smith, with whom he opened a store at 124 East Main Street. Today, in this very spot, is the Courthouse Plaza at 306 East Main Street. And it's directly across from the Bob Hope slash Fox Theater. Heading down the street from where I was, Courthouse Plaza. This is such a cool shot right here. It's like looking back through Stockton's history, taking a time machine back into time. I am standing on the 400 block of East Main Street, looking west. If you can see by this old 1937 photo, the only thing that's missing is the State Theater. You can see the where it says State. That's the old theater. And now current day, it's not there. But these other old buildings are still there. It's pretty awesome. And that Bank of Stockton sign, they must have switched it over the years. Let's switch back to the 1937 photo. If you can see it right there on top of the building, it's still in the same spot, it's still the same color. But they must have remodeled it over the years because it does look different. There's nothing like some more abandoned buildings right here on Main Street in Stockton. This site is the former Ritz Theater, located at 426 East Main Street. 
The Ritz Theater opened in 1937. The Ritz Theater was still listed in 1955 with 926 seats. If you can see this old photo is a viewing of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs which premiered in 1937 just in time for the opening of this movie theater right here where this abandoned building sits this was the parking lot for the Ritz theater right next to it was indeed the theater pretty awesome those buildings wasn't even there in 1937. This definitely has its old theater vibe to it. It's pretty awesome. It's like stepping back into a time machine. I don't know how well you could see up in there, but it's pretty much abandoned. It's all destroyed inside. Hasn't been lived in for years. I just love these old abandoned buildings. It's like it tells, the way that they look, tells a story about Stockton's history and Stockton's past. It's just, it's, it's amazing. This building right here was the former J.C. Penney's building. It also was the Avon Theater. It originally was known as the Avon Theater. It once has a seating capacity of 1,200 and reportedly excellent acoustics. The seats were arranged in an amphitheater format. The entrance was located on California Street and the theater occupied the second and third floors while businesses were housed on the first floor. This building is currently vacant and looks like it's being remodeled on the inside. I don't know how well you can see up in there, but it looks like that it's been gutted out. It looks like that they started to reconstruct the walls inside. And that window right there has a piece of plywood over on the top of it. Look like it's been busted out. And that one as well. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. If there was a such thing as a time machine, I would love to go back into the 1850s to see Stockton in all of its glory. That would be awesome. We're at 501 East Main Street, directly across from our last location. This building was constructed in 1917 as the Owl Rexel Drugstore. The exterior of the building was painted orange, as was typical of the Owl stores. At the time of construction, it was thought that a drugstore would give new importance to the downtown area. Drugstores of the time typically had a soda fountain in the store. The Owl Drugstore was one of the first chain states to engage in retail businesses in the Stockton area. The drugstore closed in 1959. The building has since been used for small businesses such as this old photo right here of Shoes for Less. It is currently Trail Coffee Roasters, a coffee shop. It's pretty cool because they have not knocked this building down. It's been standing since 1917. The only thing that they have done to it is painted the outside and remodeled the inside. And they also added a little ramp for disabled people in wheelchairs. It's pretty cool. Right next door to the former J.C. Penney building is Solario's Furniture and Jewelry Store, but it hasn't always been a furniture and jewelry store. It used to be Sierra Theater, and it operated from 1941 until its closing in 1953. It was operated by Blumenfeld Theaters, which also erected the Esquire, seating 650 people.
that's that's quite a bit of people. After the Sierra closed its doors, it was remodeled into Arden's, a women's clothing store, and Peckler's Shoes in 1928, then Rose Shoes. The Sierra Theater building is still standing today as this wonderful furniture and jewelry store, Solario's. They even left a little remembrance from when it was Arden's, right here on the floor. Still here, current day. They also left a little remembrance to when it was Rose Shoes. It's like stepping back in a time machine. In a time machine indeed. And directly across from our last location at 543 East Main Street is the Hotel Terry building. Built in 1912, the building was originally called the Hotel Rex. The hotel housed permanent and transient guests. It acquired its current name, Terry, between 1920 and 1925. There was a Catton and Marengo department store originally right here on this ground floor. And there was also one on the Miracle Mile. That is going to be it for today's video. If you guys are new here, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. It will alert you guys when the next video is out on the platform. Until next time, I am Jeffy the Adventurer. See you guys in the next video. Also, check out my new t-shirt shop. I will link that in the description down below.